What's going on guys? Welcome back, welcome back. It's your boy R1 Misfits and uh Remember the last vlog when I told you that I will be kind of building a different machine? Um, I sold the iMac, so the iMac is uh, it's long and gone. And uh, today, 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 it has arrived. So like I said, I wasn't going to build a PC, but uh, I found something a lot cheaper in my price range for the same thing I was going to be building uh, my PC. So I want to go ahead and purchased it today it's finally arrived today and i can't wait to show you uh what i have in store uh including the new setup including uh new monitors uh it's gonna be a whole whole different change so if you can see behind me right here uh this is the original monitor that i usually play my playstation with and the monitor on this side will be the monitor that goes connected with my iMac, which is no longer here, which is now being connected with my MacBook Pro. Uh, that's what I use for uh, my current monitor, my current setup as it is right now. Um, let, let me, why am I talking so much? Let's just, just, let me show you guys. Let me show you guys what I have. All right, so this is my current setup right now, which like I said, I have the 4K monitor, which I didn't introduce this. This is kind of new up here. I uh, also have my game set up on that side, uh, my MacBook Pro, which is sitting right there. Um, yeah, sorry for the so much for the cable. Since my iMac left, everything's kind of connected at like right here, and I have to connect it to my iMac. Uh, by the way, this is my dream board slash idea board. Can't show you guys that too much, but there's a lot of things going on there as well. Um, I also built this kind of setup area over here. Uh, this is gonna be where the MacBook Pro goes with the with this monitor right here um, But I'm not gonna be focusing on that setup today. I'm gonna be focusing on this setup right here My budget was uh, a little bit high and I found something in the internet which was around my budget It's a lot cheaper than what it is. And it's the same exact parts that I was gonna be putting in um Unfortunately, it is going to be a Windows PC and it's not going to be another Apple software just because the power that I need is I'm better off on a Windows PC than an Apple PC. They're just way, way too expensive. And whenever you buy them, you cannot change, exchange any parts, especially any iMacs or iMacs Pro. Once you buy them, that's how they come from factory. If you don't do your, uh, your upgrade, if you don't do your upgrades at that current time, you can forget about it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be taking everything behind me apart. I'm gonna completely destroy it, not once, but twice, but for the third and hopefully <laughs> final time. Um, I kind of have an idea what I wanna do so far. Um, at the same time, I also have uh, some help with me today. Uh, one of my best friends is gonna give me a hand today during this build. Hold on, give me a sec. Yeah, you come? I'm gonna transport you over here. All right, cool. hey, that's fine. Just be ready. All right, all right. Power of editing. <laughs> all right, so like I said, I got my buddy here. <laughs> We're gonna start uh, taking this whole thing apart. It should be fun, it should be interesting. And by the way, when you're doing things like this, just remember, cable management, is key it's a pain in the ass though <laughs> so with the preset that i went with was the i by power um i7 uh it has a 1070 uh, gtx graphic card a 16 gigabyte of ram it is liquid cool it has the i core i7 uh windows 10 and um overall this is this is what i needed um not just for editing my videos but for streaming my games as well uh, the iMac couldn't have, I couldn't have that power with the iMac. So with this, this machine right here, we're going to get some work done. But we got to take all this stuff down. Let's get to work.
Uh, sorry. Alright guys, so I thought I ran into a little issue, but I... Alright guys, so I thought I ran into a little issue with the whole complete setup. Um, I thought I wasn't going to be able to tilt the monitor when I have it on top, which I found out that I could. So when I put the other monitor here, it was sitting a little too high. So all I did was unscrew this bolt here, and I just kind of like flipped it upside down. And uh, I'm going to bolt it back up. So guys, so as far as what monitor I said I was going to be using, if you heard in my previous video, I said I was going to be using, uh, looking into the ultra wide, which I bought the LG 21.9 uh, curved ultra wide monitor. I felt like this was the best monitor that was going to fit best with my editing PC and my gaming PC. Uh, so this is the monitor that's going to go on the bottom. So we're going to set this one up and then I'm going to place the old uh, 4k monitor which is for my PlayStation which is gonna go on the top so it's kind of be like like kind of like a like a one over the other kind of like an overlay of the other it's gonna look good guarantee you I just I did it before this this is why the box is open look at this Oof. So it pretty much comes down to this, uh, the new gaming, editing, anything I want and need it for PC. Let's uh, let's unbox this big boy. Can't wait, can't wait to unbox. For some reason, I always see YouTubers unboxing with a kitchen knife. I, I, I don't know what kind of habit that is, but just just use a real knife. You know, it's a lot easier. All right, so right out the box, uh, the first thing we see is it comes with a keyboard, a gaming keyboard. How are we gonna do this? All right, uh, let's lay it to the side. Uh, let's get into that box. Stand her upright. Uh. Woo. This looks very, very clean. All right, so this is inside. It's just, it looks super clean. I'm just checking everything inside, make sure nothing's loose. Welcome back. Uh, yesterday was day one of the whole massacre that we had during this build. Uh, last night I went to bed about 2 a.m. Uh, Try to set everything up. That was when I stopped recording the last footage. I was already exhausted from working all day and then just coming home and, and dealing with this for the most part of the day. Um, I do still have a lot to do today, but yesterday I was able to connect the PC, power it on, do some updates. Uh, that needed for the drive and, and things of that nature but i'm gonna give you guys a tour right now of what i've actually done so far i'm very very impressed of how everything is like coming out like i said i just have to do a little bit of cable management and connect everything else which is going to be a pain in the behind i still have to put the led lights on which i just came back from home depot that's what you see me with the iced coffee i had to get some uh, double-sided sticky tape so here is the beast of the machine um, 
guys kind of right now it's in standby mode uh, since i was here using it earlier uh making sure everything is up and running uh, pretty good um i am going to turn it on so you guys can see maybe we'll just tap the keyboard will it wake up rgb keyboards up oh no it didn't wake up Ooh, yeah yeah this is what she looks like inside i have two 16 gig two eight gigabyte rams i have the graphic card uh 1070 gtx right down here is the uh 250 ssd drive and behind this over here is the one terabyte hard drive um overall i already clocked the the cpu the graphic card i already clocked all of that to make it more powerful so i can get more performance out of it but as you can see it is looking marvelous inside it is just it is just a beauty i'm very impressed how how this all is coming out to be this is the front and in front of me we have the widescreen 21 by 9 uh, lg ultra wide qhd i believe it's called so this is basically the home screen that i picked uh the star wars uh, i love star wars movie as well as you guys can see on top i have chewbacca and the new android uh, i gotta finish putting up the other two up there plus i gotta put the led lights behind it LED behind the desk gotta clean all this up the cables and everything which i still have a lot a lot to do uh, as far as the ps4 i think i'm gonna leave it there for now i had it here in the center before but i felt like it take it took too much space here because i have the keyboard and the mouse then the external hard drive that comes out of there it was just it was just a clutter here which i feel like there is the most comfortable space um removing the all three of the monitors i feel like i have more of it looks a lot cleaner than before you know it doesn't look as cluttered uh with this look i'm really really loving this look right here it's just super super clean all right guys now that it's all ready and set i'm just gonna start ripping everything apart uh putting the led lights i'm gonna shut everything down uh, unplug a couple things and uh let's get the ball rolling <laughs> Alright guys, so here is the final, final setup. I'm all said and done. Very, very important. Uh, I ran an LED strip starting from here, going up this way and then down and then kind of across and then goes back and then back this way. Uh, and then the bottom, um, this is the cable management in the bottom. Uh, I did as much as I possibly could. I also put the Astros down here because I kind of like hate the Astros when they sit on top of the on top of the desk and you have all that cable coming out uh then i wind it up a little bit here and then i hooked it onto here to my headphone uh my uh, headset holder um as far as with the mouse and keyboard i actually uh ran it right under here for now i don't like the look when it shoots out and then comes all the way i don't like that look here i wanted to keep this look kind of clean here so yeah this is the final final result there is the the big big new toy <laughs> so yeah the monitor in the bottom is the lg 21 by 9 uh ultra wide uh curve uh, that is connected directly to the pc and then this monitor is the lg 4k uh, i did the best i can with the cable management it's not perfect uh you actually can see this uh kind of like white cable coming out that is the display cable i gotta get a longer one uh that's what goes connected to the pc uh to give you a tour around back uh this is the led strips i use for the old setup uh the sticky residue kind of like peeled off so i had to go to home deep when i got some of these like sticky three millimeter tape double-sided yeah but it works it works all right guys so if you guys enjoyed this build uh give me a thumbs up or give me a thumbs down and if you give me a thumbs down tell me the reason why but this is the new work gaming streaming editing station i'm very very excited i'm gonna be doing a lot a lot of new things into the channel i'm gonna be presenting a lot of new things into the channel as well so 
like I said, if you guys liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you guys didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. Like I said, tell me the reason why. Um, I am going to be doing a couple other things, uh, but I don't want to make this video too long, but I'll make another video, kind of like a little bit of an update what I'm going to be doing. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you guys know uh, anytime I upload any future content. And um, I don't got to say anything anymore. Uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm out of here.